The water tunnel is used in the low-speed aerodynamics lab. The semester begins in the subsonic wind tunnel, where the first experiment is conducted. More details about the subsonic wind tunnel are covered in a separate video. The second experiment in the low-speed aerodynamics lab course tests a blunt body, a sphere, in the water tunnel and wind tunnel. In the water tunnel, qualitative observations are made with liquid dye injection as the boundary layer is observed, using a single dye color injected at the forward stagnation point on the glass sphere. The dye shows the formation of a viscous boundary layer, separation of the boundary layer, formation of vortices in the wake of the sphere, and the breakdown to turbulence by those vortices. In order to obtain quantitative information, a laser Doppler anometer, or LDA, may also be utilized. In the sphere experiment, the LDA is used to measure the boundary layer profile, which is the tangential velocity versus distance from the surface, by tracking the velocity of tiny particles. The water tunnel can also be used for the student's third and final lab, which is designed and executed entirely by the students. In past experiments, for example, students have used dye injection and LDA to visualize the aerodynamic effects of winglets, examined flow over a rotating frisbee or around a rotating cylinder, explored the flow into an inlet of a jet engine, and examined flow between segments of a segmented projectile.